So six days ago, I ordered the air condition unit from China. This is unbelievable. This came all the way from China, so poorly shipped. Oh, what is this? So I... It's, it's amazing how poorly it is boxed, yet amazingly in good condition. Coming in two packages. No wonder yesterday's was so light. Okay, 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 very good. So my guess is yesterday that was the air condition. This is the wall, the wall control. Okay, because it's a, it's a split. So. Instagram page, I I said I am answering questions in the truck about the truck. So if you want to ask me a question, you can submit it. Number one, Miss Charlotte says, are you coming to Vegas? Okay, I'm not. No offense. I don't know if this thing's gonna make it to Vegas. Side note, I've never been to Vegas. I've never been to that part out west. I do like heat. So, do you have a specific trip or event that you've built this for? And why not just get a small motor home? Okay, that might have been too easy. That would have been too easy. I have chosen an extremely complicated path for this. Specific trip is, I was supposed to buy this in January, work on it during the cooler months, and have it ready to go next September so Meepo and I can crawl up the East Coast. A more immediate trip is to be in Florida and to see sunrise in the morning and sunset in the evening. An extended weekend, three-day weekend, but really explore the parts of Florida that I've never seen and to bring my own apartment with me. That was the goal. Whew. But yeah, I chose the challenging road. How will you secure the truck when you go to Greece? Okay, to make sure that the frogs, the squirrels, the raccoons, and the homeless don't move in, I just need to seal that. What made you choose a U-Haul over a bus or a van? I love all your videos. I am so deep into this right now, but at one time, a complete birth of the project excited me. I don't know where I am on that. There's, there's a lot more pieces and parts than I ever thought and legalities. The legal stuff, if you want to know the truth, I think it's why most don't do stuff. You know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know it, but for a long time I've been working on the roof, the ceiling, right? My involvement with the pocket door wall holds the ceiling up. So that had to come first. Here's my ceiling and I can start with 36 inches. When the truck was in mobile, I couldn't go get the proper blades. This new blade, hot knife through butter. It's gonna be black. This wood needs to be sealed and primed first. Tricorn black, if anybody's asking. So that black ceiling board that I just cut needs a 14 inch square, perfectly cut. Perfectly cut. I just saved y'all chaos and cussing. Number one, it's hot in here. Number two, gravity. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna go get a board. We're gonna measure this distance and then this gets cut. Oh, that's what all this has been about, 36 inches. Do you think you can remember that? Look at this. 
have a cedar board. We're gonna measure 30. A cedar board, I'm gonna measure 36 inches and cut. Can you show the concept drawing again? You know what, I can. So let's put it there. And let me, let me work a little. You got it? There's been some changes. <laughs> There's been some changes. Changes in colors, changes in practicality, uh, changes in the budget. Ch -ch changes. Amy Lou, what places do you plan on traveling? In and throughout Florida, predominantly. Next year, further, it, it might be a different truck. What solar brand are you going with and how much wattage and battery does it have? Whew. Good question, you'd be amazed what I don't know. I bought Renogy, so at the time of editing, I'm gonna fill in what I bought right here. Hi Tony, when do you think, when are you shooting for that this is to be done? I've watched videos that people do theirs in three to four weeks. I'll be lucky for three to four months. Um, definitely by Thanksgiving. I don't know if every, definitely by Thanksgiving. People, look up. My first wood panels. The first two wood panels are up. Annie says, uh, are you gonna have any windows? The answer is yes and no. This is not a panoramic camper. This is a stealth, a stealthy uh, truck that I don't want anybody to know what's inside. So this is a place for privacy. It's where you can make an egg. Use the, use the bathroom, take a shower, and sleep. Yeah, you wanna see what's outside? Go outside. But uh, yeah, all skylight and ventilations will be up on the roof. But there will be vent windows. So yes and no. to work every day. I assume it's too hot to be on a bicycle. No, I ride my bicycle every day, everywhere. Every day, everywhere. In the heat, in the rain, I absolutely love it. Zero regrets. I'm healthier because of the decision to get rid of my Jeep. <laughs> see my handiwork I'm gonna see my handiwork and that will conclude this vlog which is about the ceiling oh yeah you see what I mean as I'm headed that way there's gonna be a bevel so anyway let's step away from this let's step away from this and I'll see you next week for part 10 of this yeah.